What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Vic, and I'm back with another video. Now, this video today I'm making because uh, some people, I mean, people like the last video, but they were asking, do I have any other options for spoofing apps? And since Niantic is currently changing their policy, I should say, why is they're looking to add spoofing to the game full time? I guess we'll wait to see. Well, that's probably a surprise for next year, but we'll wait to see that. Next year is right around the corner anyway. Um, I decided to go ahead and use this app. I've picked this app because people have been telling me that they are able to use it when not being able to downgrade to 12 point, um, 6.85. Some people told me that they can use the app at 12.6.89, which I can't really test that part out. So I wanted to go ahead and put it together, see how it is. Now you can find this app. This is this used to be a good app. It still is a good app. For a while, it was a no. Some people were saying they're getting banned, so I said, "Hey, you know, I'll go jump to FGL Pro." But since things are changing, it's no, it's okay to go ahead and use it. And that is fake GPS joystick. Okay, pro. This this one right here, fake GPS joystick and routes. Now this is a paid app. If you don't want to use this one, you got fake GPS Go location spoof for free. That one doesn't have a joystick, but I, you know. This is the one here. But hey, what's a, what's a couple of bucks if you're looking for a good time spoofing and using routes? So if you're having trouble with the other app, check this one out here. Get that all installed. I will disable my Play Store now. I don't need it. Check my uh, Play Services. Now, let me go ahead and explain to you. Now, you want to deactivate your play services. I'm not going to, I don't need to you know, downgrade my, well, not deactivate, but downgrade. But first things first, what you want to do, come over here, device admins, if you don't ever have it downgraded. Okay. Some people I have find my phone check, find my device check. If you got it checked, uncheck it. Mine's unchecked, so I'll leave it be. So, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it be. Go ahead, leave it, leave it like that. Mine's unchecked. Next thing you want to do is go to apps. Let me make this very clear. To downgrade, if you try to downgrade without deactivating from my phone, it's gonna say downgrade or un uninstall successful. So you have to find find my phone and Google Pay first and deactivate those before you can go ahead and downgrade your Google Play services. Be very clear on that. All right, Google Play services right here. I see I can't downgrade any further on my device. My device is already downgraded, so I'm not gonna show you all that. Normally we try to downgrade it, say uninstall updates in the top right corner with three little balls. Like you see here, uninstall, boom, you're ready to go. I'll leave the Google, link for Google Play services in the description. But normally what you do is afterwards, once you do that, you go here, you look, and next to the 12.5.29, you'll find some numbers, normally starting with a zero. The first set of numbers is what you need. Then you go to Google Play, Google Play services website, Google Play Services, 12.6.85. Look for your number. My number, not that I need it, but my number is the first one right at the very top. The S9 users, it's the first one at the very top. Note, if you got the Note, Note 9, whatever. The very, the very top number. You don't even need to click. Just click the very top one. Boom. Done deal. You, un, you install it. You're ready to go. With that being said, if you try to um, install... Uh, older app on top of a newer, I mean, older APK over on top of a newer newer one, you will get the message telling you that um, app not installed, so you need to make sure you downgrade first. Now, if you're somebody who is here and you are, you downgrade, but you're, you're stuck at 12.6.89 or 12.8.74 or 12.8.76, I will link, leave a link in the description on how you can flash because I've come across people who don't want to root their phone. I want the people, you know, who I, I have a U.S. model of my Galaxy S9 Plus is what I have. And my wife has a Note 9. And, you know, Samsung, you know, not makes it hard for you to root your phone in the U.S. So flash older stock firmware. I do have two videos on that if you need, need those. Those will be in the description. Anyway, let's jump right into it with this app anyway. This app is here. Fake GPS. All right, it detects Pogo. We get, I get that. Please read. Makes you wait a while. Take me to the, the whole please read thing. At least scan through. At least scroll through it because if you don't scroll through it, then it won't let you do anything. All right. Go ahead and enable mock locations. Mock location app. Boom. Done deal. 
come back. My home location right here. Go to options top right. I'm not gonna use routes right this second, but I can show you how to use routes shortly. App settings. Developer settings. We just came from there, so we leave that be. It shows you current Google Play services. That's my Google Play services right here from my phone. These are the number there for you. Makes it easy for you. So you wonder what your number is. That's your number right there and what you need. Okay. I don't need expert mode, obviously. I'm, no root modes. Check because I'm not rooted. Wait dialog, no root mode. So the, dialog, the little box that pops up on the screen. If you don't want the box to pop up on your screen, take the check mark off and the box won't pop up on your screen. Now, now listen here very carefully. And as it reads, displays a white, I mean, a wait dialog over the screen can be used only in no root mode with routes and joystick overlaying games to refresh the position from my notif notification tray without red errors. So, don't come complaining to me about you getting red errors and everything if you're not listening. This dialog, I mean, your person might pause in the spot they're in, okay? But this is to keep the errors off the screen. Now, if you do get errors, just remember. The errors are common. I don't want to see in the comment section, oh my good, I get the red errors, freak, what do I do, what do I do? <laughs> don't hit me on Discord, ask me about the red errors. Now, I'm beyond <laughs> that. that is one of the most irritating things ever, even if you explain to somebody, but I can't do anything. Look, if you can't deal with the red errors, you don't need to be spoofing. It comes with the territory. Technically, technically, Obviously, it's outside of terms of service. So, if you're getting the red errors when you're using an app that, is not, that doesn't come with the game, you get an error. So, what? Roll with the punches. Anyway, if you're having issues and the position is not being, you know, for huh, no root mode, try this one instead. I'm not using that one because I have a newer device. So I don't need to use that one. Catch a Rex from disconnected from GPS. No signal found on your device. Error doesn't work with spoofing modes, joystick, guy. Yeah, whatever. We're not going that route. And able to joystick because I want the joystick. I need that. Put the joystick on there. Do I want to start it on boot? I don't really care. Update interval. Interval. Eh, you fine there. Um, altitude. Ah, uh, I'll go ahead and check that. I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, <laughs> let's see what else I got here. Cause I'm pretty much ready to get in there. Okay. I guess I could show you. You want to add a route? Pretty much, route's pretty simple. You set up your route the way you want it. Say here and here. A second here. You gotta put the route in first, but I don't really want to do all that. I don't have to. Yeah, I'll wait on that. Give me one. Let me get my stuff going first. I click the play button, and I'll do that once I get the one where I want to go. So where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Let me see here if I got anything saved here. Clipboard, clipboard. Take myself there. All right. That puts me right there in Santa Monica. I mean, sorry. Uh, not Santa Monica, but uh, Pier 39 and all that good places over there. Click play. The screen pops up, pops up on the screen. Is it irritating? Yes. Make that a favorite location for myself. Put that home. That's one of my home home places there. Home. Save it. Okay. Now I'm waiting for my. Okay, it made it. I was going to stop waiting for my GPS to get there. It is there. Now, where is my joystick? My joystick did not pop up. Enable joystick. So what I'll do is I'll stop it and I hit play again because I want my joystick. Now, flick the joystick to go ahead and um Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, to move the red arrows, flick the joystick or push the button right above the right there in the middle above it to refresh your location. Uh, set the altitude. I strongly suggest just flicking the joystick and making it simple on yourself. Yeah, I know what I got. I force you to read that. Obviously, you see, if you click it too fast, it says, please read. You can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, the, get what the box is for. So this is all based on your security um, security settings and whatnot. Got that out the way. Done deal. My joystick is there. Move that around. Got that there. Done deal. All right. So I'm going to show you that it works real quick. 
And then I'm gonna show you the routes. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Gotta spoof them all. Spoof them. Booyah, out. And then, of course, I'll wait for the, you know, the, the nine spoofers to comment on my video. Hope you die, Big Vic. I hope you eat cancer. Yada, yada, yada. Burn in hell. You know, all the good stuff. Flick the joystick. The stupid thing pops up on the screen. But you know what? It goes away. So I'm going to go ahead and run across the thing real quick just to show you that it works. Does it work, Vic? Now, another reason I like uh, the last app a little better. This is a nice app, too. The last, well, another reason I like the last app better is because... My dialog box isn't on the screen that long, and I can teleport pretty much to where I want to go. So I prefer that for myself anyway. Everybody got their own preference. So initially, my top three apps included this, FGL Pro, and uh, GPS Joystick, which GPS Joystick has grown on me a lot more over the time because, because of the updates and whatnot. It just updated, matter of fact, I just updated it um, about 10 minutes ago before I jumped on here, so I'll be trying that out shortly okay we got that there it's a stupid Pidgey a wild Pidgey has appeared why do you got a Pidgey don't know don't really care there's a Pidgey now, this is just to give you choices. Now, if you want to set up routes and do your thing like that, it's up to you. Everybody uses what they want to use. So, I want to just show you that. Let me go ahead and show you the routes real quick then. Let them run around. I use this for hatch, hatch a lot of my eggs, though. That's what I was using before. Up top. Routes. Ah, stupid update. Well, looks like they changed that. Let me see here. There we go. One place to other. Click, click and hold on the screen once you got it there. All right. Click another place where you want, want yourself to go. Marker two. You can save that as a location. Just put that run. All right. And put that in this run. It's saved. Come over here to routes. Click on that. And uh, what I do is I start, stop it, and I start it. So he takes off. They jump there, then I watch him take off running. It's pretty funny. He's got to watch it get here, though. That's the only thing I got to wait, wait, waiting for it to get back to where it's supposed to go. Where the heck is it at? That should, that should help out big time. Go back down here. Come on. Really got to wait for it to come back. It's taking forever to get back over here, isn't it? Sheesh. Let me zoom out then. There it is. That's the only downside to it. You got to wait for it to get here. And I could stop it, but I'm not going to, just to show you. And then he'll start his, start his route, run it around, and... Let it do it one more time, then I'll turn the game back, open the game back up. Okay, now he's moving. He should be moving pretty shortly here. So you watch him run on his own. Moving a little slow, little doggy. Take off. You need to catch up with yourself. Take off running. He pauses. Every, after that does that, though, he takes off running forward a little bit. Actually, he moving so like he ain't got nowhere to be. You better run, fool. This will get him going. I thought I'd get off here, though. Should, should, like, go flying. Go ahead and get that shit up out the way. Mock again. All right. 
He didn't. Okay, he maybe ran far enough. Now, if you want to turn the speed up, you can. I don't have him running too. I don't have him going too far, but it just shows he's moving on his own. I hope that's been helpful for y'all. Hopefully, y'all like the app. Like, comment, sub. Uh, Give away two accounts. They should have those by the end of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Doing another giveaway for New Year's. The word is Shazam. Like, comment, and be subscribed. It's your boy Big Vic, and I am out.